Hi ladies, as we know, failure is inevitable. We are humans, we are going to fail. But it's kind of scary, <clears throat> especially in the early stages of dating, to be vulnerable and show up in failure or inadvitably run into failure and then how to present this to your guy. So I wanna talk about how you can execute this, how you can fail gracefully and still have a guy running towards you. Um, so two years ago, um, I was marketing all over the place that I got engaged to my then girlfriend. And it was just like this perfect story. It's like love coach, relationship coach gets engaged. You know, everyone should hire me. If I can do it, you can do it. And it was just a great campaign in marketing. And about eight months after our engagement, I we, we, we broke up. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was terrified. This was the most vulnerable spot I could be in, both business-wise, emotionally, security-wise. Um, we were living together, so I no longer had housing. My business was selling the idea of falling in love and that I knew what I was talking about. And... You know, clearly, I literally thought I was up here with my advice. And in one moment, I just immediately came to the lowest part I could come to and be like, do I even know what I'm doing? Don't have my house. My business is probably going to go away. And I just lost my life partner. So I am literally at the lowest point I can be in, in my most vulnerable state. So how do I pick myself up? So I realized I waited about three or four months to tell everyone because I wanted to be respectful to her and her family and not have it publicly out there, you know, let some of the grieving happen. But then I realized, like, in my grieving process, if I want to take care of myself, I need to tell this story. And for my business to move forward, I just need to be honest and, and present it. And what will be will be. And the outpouring of support from all of you was just immense. Um, I remember sending out an email that I wrote myself about what happened. And I got countless emails back, like wishing me well and giving me support. And on top of that, I had my best business year ever, asking people to still stay on board with me and ultimately, that's because my skill set didn't really change. You know, just because yesterday I was engaged and tomorrow I'm not, I still knew exactly the same stuff. Nothing changed. It's just my personal situation wasn't great at that moment. So how do you fail gracefully and so that a man still comes towards you? Well, after I broke up, I had to take accountability. And this is how we fail gracefully. I realized that I picked the wrong person for me. And I also realize I'm a people pleaser and I'm terrible at presenting my boundaries and holding them firm. So this was all stuff that I now needed to work on. And so not pointing figures, I, fail, I failed, I failed epically. I never thought I would ever get uh, a broken engagement. Just like a lot of you women out there that got married, never thought you were going to get divorced. That's not the point of getting married. You're like, I'm going to do this once and that's it. But I failed epically and in such public fashion, but then I took accountability. And so that's what it's all about. When you fail, just falling on your sword and saying, I'm accountable. You know, something always stuck with me. Um, the first time I read Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus uh, by John Gray, who this was, uh, he's the number one best-selling nonfiction author of all time. And I also interviewed him. You can, we'll put a link up to that, Sam, if you don't mind, put a link to that uh, playlist so people can watch. But John in his book writes, women never need to say sorry. Never. And that really resonated with me for a while because it put me in a place where whenever, you know, anyone I was dating did something wrong, if they happened to apologize, it felt great. If they didn't, I was under my, my expectations were managed that they didn't need to. 
So what that meant was when women apologized, when women took accountability, I was just like, whoa, I found like a diamond in the rough that actually does this. And so why I'm bringing this to you today is I want you to fail epically and fail often and fail as many times as you need to because it's okay. I want to make it perfectly okay. Even in the early stages of a relationship, fail. But communicate it with your partner. Hey, here's what happened. Here's how I'm feeling. And even if you haven't processed how you're going to be accountable or what you did wrong or what you did right, tell them that. But that vulnerability is going to endear you guys together. That's going to make him run towards you because he'll feel like he's getting close to you, like he's getting to know you. And bonus fact, I always talk about my NAB aver- um, my NAB acronym being making a man feel needed, appreciated. Men love to be the savior. So if you have a problem and as a queen you feel comfortable to ask for his help, you're making him feel needed, and then when he does it, he's appreciated. The damsel in distress thing really, really works and draws a man in. Now, if you're a damsel in distress all the time and permanently, that will weigh on him. But if you're here and there, the damsel in distress, you're, you're giving him a role, and he's going to be your savior. He's going to be your protector, um, which is great because, frankly, most women, they do everything themselves these days. So to have the occasional hey, can you help me with this? It's going to bring him in and draw him to you and get him to know you better. All right, ladies. I want to hear your stories. Tell me one of, either your most epic failure or a failure that you felt comfortable telling to your partner or a guy or a friend or a family member. I want to hear about this because I just shared one of my largest and, <sighs> frankly, one of the most stressful things I've had to deal with, as I'm sure all you women that have gotten divorced uh, are very aware, well aware how stressful that is. Ah, <sighs> Anyway, I love all of you. Sam, do me a favor, run the roulette wheel so we can get these ladies a free gift. And thank you everyone for watching. And we'll put up two more videos for you to watch here and here. And we'll see you next time.